anything in there. There's no point in going to the kitchen right now. We've done everything! Haven't we? Oh, shit. So Celeste is hidden behind here. Alright. There is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room on the third floor. I have no doubt our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. Hmm, will somebody join me in a game of Othello sometime? Okay, I've heard what everyone has to say. So now it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that's kind of been bothering me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. What do you mean apparently Monokuma took it? You saw it fucking happen, he definitely fucking took it. A weird picture? You mean like dirty? No, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo and Chihiro all together. Why? Those three? And the three of them were... And the three of them were laughing. Oh. It showed the three of them still laughing? When could they have been taken? And there's more. And there's more! In the picture, there wasn't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well, then. Then the pictures weren't taken here. Let's see. But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. Oh, okay. You probably just imagine them. Why don't you come and catch a on you? Fuck off. No! I saw it! I'm telling you! But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here. How about I bet they're still, still alive! They left the school and then took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible. After all, we saw it with our very own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Morikuma killed Jinko. And then there's... Sayaka. Oh, I was right the first time. I thought it was Sonya or something. That wasn't an illusion. It was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's ball collapse abstract you. He's right, but more importantly... <laughs> Another topic, there is something that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. Well, fucking discuss it then. Don't make me click on you. <laughs> there is also something that has been bothering me which I would like to discuss. What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually... It's about Tina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. What really happened? Huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person. But whenever somebody lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It is called a tell. Something that you can't hide, no matter how hard you try. Oh, Bayaka's dead. She's killed him. There we go. Third, third death already. Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose gets just a little long, bit longer. Huh? What? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Huh? But your action just now confirmed it. You were lying. Oh. That's not. That's that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. No, don't do it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. If you are going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Lena, Lena to be honest, were you lying about your stomachache? Lena, be honest. Y yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? Because Boyak is dead. Are you being guilty about something? Just a second. No, that's not it at all. I'm glad I killed the fucker. It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? Fuck's sake, why can't I just go in one long dialogue? To be honest, I didn't have a stomachache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? Well... I saw it. So what? A ghost. Hmm? A ghost? You mean like, that ghost? Hey. Huh? Yeah, exactly, that ghost. 
Is there more than one ghost? But, 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 I mean, but, yeah, but, just going, but, sounds like, can but, anyway, so, but, 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 see, but, big arch, but, <laughs> I mean, ghosts are, what the heck? I mean, ghosts are, see, I told you you wouldn't believe me, it's, it's not that I don't believe you, but, Gina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. I've got a dick. Well, I've all met fucking Chiero, oh, love. Fucking hell. Big surprise. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, um... Um, so it happened last night. I was doing the private thing. See, I'm on my bed. <laughs> I was in bed, but I couldn't get to sleep. I just kept thinking about everything that's happening. But until now, I ended up just getting more upset. So to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go eat some donuts. Donuts again! Honestly. And to ignore the rules regarding nighttime. Sorry. I know. Sorry. I feel really bad about that. Anyway, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. There's no dining hall prohibited from use in nighttime anyway, so that plot bit doesn't make too much sense. Well... It was coming from the direction of the bathhouse, so I headed that way. The lock was halfway open, so I took a look inside. I'm going to haunt you, you son of a bitch! And I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Shihiro. No, no way! I did the ghost! It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born from your weakened mental state. Then we, then all we have to do is see for ourselves, right? Let's just go to the bathhouse and see what Hina saw. It is a waste of time. Maybe. But, there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. What? what? You're gonna go try and see a g g g g ghost? Is that really a good idea? It's mad, but curse on you. It's not a gypsy. Fucking hell. You can wait here if you want. I, I don't want to be alone. Take me with Take me with you. What are you going to do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Mm. How about you, Mr. Hume... Mr. Ichimaru? Are you going to wait here? I guess that's a yes. It was right here. I saw it in the dressing room. Um, uh, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Kill you, say something. Shut up. What if he actually shows up? Hina. Hina, where is it that you saw Chihiro's ghost? Well, well, I heard the sound of when I opened the locker. I kind of saw a pale outline at your hero. Right, let's talk to... Let's do the lockers then. Um, is this a locker? There was something in here. Huh? Inside the locker is... A laptop? What's something like that doing here? Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right! I saw it in the library before! It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. But how did the laptop get from the library to here? It would seem... And I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Huh? Well, I thought it was broken. 
I would I would bet that your hero fixed it. After all, he was known as the Ultima programmer. Then perhaps More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes? Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost. <laughs> I am surprised you are able to dress yourself in the morning. Uh -huh. Oh man, if I had to go through the show, I suppose, I would fall in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. <laughs> well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside of a freaking locker, okay? Hey, come on. It's okay, I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I'd spotted a grey alien, but it just turned out to be a tadpole. What the fuck? How'd you make that assumption? What are you Don't compare. What happened to me to one of your stupid delusions? Don't be mean. I was just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? But listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing in here? Maybe someone hid it in Oi. here. If that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever puts it in here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. Huh? What do you mean? Hey. Haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's a difference. There's no surveillance camera! Yes, it's me. Pres yes, it's me? What? How is that? <laughs> yes, there is! I'm a security camera! <laughs> Fucking hell. Precisely. There's no camera in. Yes, it's me. Ooh. There's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. Hmm. So I think I'm gonna put it up, up here so the mastermind won't know about it. Or should I should do a humming I used to know. I could go for some hum ass. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro, shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. It's just like Kyoko said, the display on it isn't on, but a laptop definitely has power. So then. So first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard, and the display instantly began to glow a pale green. Well, that's blue. So you're colour blind. There was a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. The, there, there, there. The icon on the far left. What is it? It says. Alter Ego. Mm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Could you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the Alter Ego icon. And when she double clicked it, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the screen suddenly went dark. And then a voice spoke to us. You're fucking dead now, bitches. You're really master, Master, you're here. Jihiro's face appeared, taking up the entire display. Oh. It's a ghost! Brother and sweet baby Jesus, save me! Calm down. Calm down, it's not a ghost. What? What? Huh? Then, what is it? Anyway. I'm sure if we just talk to it, we'll find out. Kyoko began to type, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... I always get so embarrassed introducing myself. But, that voice, the tone and everything. Mm. It's Jihiro. No! No, really? Oh my god! Alter Ego. I've heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI program? That's right. Sotohiro and his title of Ultimate Programmer. The AI lives in a computer, and by repeating different tasks, he gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Chihiro uses a support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support vector machine? Reinforcement learning? It's true. To put it simply, it's basically Eevee. 
but smarter. A lot of fucking smarter than Eevee is. It's a learning method for computers. If you want to know more, just Google it, okay? In other words. But if this AI continues to grow, it will become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Mm. And that is why it is called an auto ego. It finds us in the mercy. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. Apart from Mufumi, because he is a fucking man child. <laughs> if you are to raise your own AI that way, it will make perfect sense to refer to it as your alter ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Chihiro created. That's alter ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay with this? Anyway, so he fixed the broken laptop and put his own program on there. This is what this means, yes? Then he brought the machine to the dressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> hmm, but you know, all this about master and whatnot, yes, yes! I, I believe I'm on fire! I fucking wish, I fucking wish you on fire, you piece of shit! I thought you were already into 2D! It is 2D. It is most excellent 2D possible! Huh? But here's the guy, who knows how a computer program. I feel as if... Oh, that has marked his nail problem! I mean... That they are Anyway... Anyway, let's not get into that, please, for fuck's sake. Let's talk to him a little more. Kyoko typed away rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Master only gave me a general idea. Well. But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? Are you asking me what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this laptop. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly means that they can must contain some important secret. For example, perhaps the secret of this school. While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? Hmm, right. it's going to be a while. But I'm definitely going to do it, so you can just leave it to me. I see. So because of how long it will take, he designed Odorico to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart, it also means that work remains uninterrupted, even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up. Keep it up, but do not let... Be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. Don't worry, I got a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam. So if anyone suspicious shows up... I'll just scream for help real loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, that is fine during the day. That is fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Huh? Why? You okay have this? you forgotten? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, you can scream as loud as you want, but we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about once it's nighttime, we each take turns going in the dressing room? However, There's a good chance the mastermind will notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then, what can we do? So when it's night time comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. And there's no way I can miss Alter Ego's yelling. But, but if you leave your door open all night, it's then... True. There's a chance I may become a victim myself, I know. However, but I'm not as weak as you may think. I wouldn't go down without a fight, I assure you. There was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was somewhat similar to Bayaka's tone. But at the same time, different. Yeah, it has an almost entirely different feel, for sure. Like someone who drop been dropped into a battlefield versus someone who'd been born into a on a battlefield. I felt like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um, um, would you mind if I asked a few questions? 
I haven't seen Master for a while, but when you got here, I thought it was him, but... It's Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do. But she recovered just as fast and quickly began typing. Her answer was clear, concise, direct. Chihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances the master would survive the situation were very low. So I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> Somehow, like... I feel kind of sorry for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the philosophical question. If you put enough information into an AI, would it start to get feelings? And become a person. What? Which all depends on what you value a person, what you classify as a person, or what features uh, you classify in being a person. Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Uh. Yes. Please do, it's a promise, okay. Bye bye. The AI seemed completely different from when we first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his programming, or could they have actually been worried about us? Could it be? Hmm. What's wrong here? You know? Oh, nothing, I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we could call for help from the outs then we could call for help from the outside. But this is just a dressing room, I don't think you can get online from well, here. Well if we take it out of here and find someone that does have online access, we can't do that. <laughs> that that's why you think you're so much you might will find out in no time. Uh, um, oh yeah, true. Indeed. This is no time for taking needless risks. For now I'll monitor the progress of the file and and the fucking out Analysis. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <sighs> Goodbye. We'll be back, I promise. <sighs> Come on, Hifumi. Let's go. Oh. Okay. And we all left the dressing room. 